Okay guys, this is gonna be a quick little video. Myself, I had the issue when I got my new Samsung S24 Ultra. It would no longer let me use my DJI Fly app for my Mavic Mini 2. And I'm gonna show you what I had to do after a bunch of research and dicking around. It took me weeks to finger this one out. So uh, here we go. First thing you're gonna to have to do to make this work is you're gonna go into your uh, Play Store and download this app. It's called the, uh, of course there's ads here, APK App Installer or APK Installer. I'm gonna exit. You see it's the uh, third one from the right beside the Airbnb. So you download that and then you're gonna go to your Google Safari or Chrome, doesn't matter. I just did it on Chrome so maybe just do it on Chrome to make sure it's going to work. Pull up your Chrome. And then I'm going to just backtrack a bit here. You're going to type in DJI Download Center. It's going to bring up the Download Center. You're going to hit the DJI Fly app. You're going to hit down, Download Android APK and um, download anyway. Now, a lot of guys said that this doesn't work for them and it looks to me like it doesn't. It stays on this screen for a while. Nothing really happens. So I figured it didn't work. But then you go back, you open up your APK app installer, let the annoying ad play and then exit it. Not sure what's going on here. Oh, that was a great video. Continue to app. Let's try this again. For some reason it doesn't want to open. I'm just gonna exit that out and try again. Literally just did this and it worked perfect. There we go. Continue to app. So basically all your downloads are going to show up in here in six or nine seconds, hopefully. Don't know what the holdup is here. Okay, so then you're going to click on install on the DJI Fly. Let this stupid ad play out. And the important part is next. Apparently we're still on an ad. Okay. Wow, this is annoying. Okay, anyway, so do you want to update this app? Sure, update. Now it's gonna come up with a prompt saying that it's not safe, which you'll see in a, oh, of course it worked because I already did it. Okay. Well, anyways, sorry this is a terrible video, but it's going to come up with a prompt saying not safe, whatever. Don't click OK. You got to click. There's a little thing that says um, more information. You click on that and it'll say download install anyways. Once you hit that install anyways, it should install perfectly and then show up in your normal home page. Right here. Anyways, hope this helped.